Hello, 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 and welcome to Tifosi Time. This is episode 136 of your favorite Italian soccer podcast. The prodigal son has returned, fellas. I am back after I don't know how many months gone. I don't think I missed anything, so that's good. I didn't want to say my timing was spot on. But uh, say hello, fellas. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and if you don't know those are the voices of Chris, Dan, and Pedro by now, you just, you, you're out of the loop. And I'm Frank, so hello, people. Welcome back. And uh, where, where do you want to start, guys? I haven't, I haven't watched any soccer. I haven't watched the Women's World Cup. I'm pretty much out of the loop. <laughs> yeah, so, he's, I'm glad he's on. <laughs> fill me in. <laughs> you I really didn't watch it. any of the games? No, it was in Australia. And I was no. Nope. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. It's it's still on, by the way. It's not over. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna watch that either. Probably. <laughs> I did. Uh, like, I did like that Italy on goal. If you haven't had a chance oh to look at that, go, go watch that. That was beautiful. It was beautiful. What was it? Describe it to me. She just blindly passed it back to the goalie. The goalie was nowhere near the ball. <laughs> nice, nice. Was it like shot. a volley or a scissor kick? Oh, for that, it was a good shot. It was listen. They did a terrible performance this World Cup. Like they got blown out the second game. That game they got like they were just awful. The coach won the first game. Yeah, the, yeah, but the, still the blame is on the coach. Well, the coach already stepped down. Yeah, the coach he stepped down, and she he left to the Jirel. He didn't put a Jirel like it cuts. And it says they have good players, but um, you know well, the, the rest of the world has gotten better. Also, you know, by the way, yeah, the US you know, is out. By the way, for Duman, Oman, uh, you went to Suman. Yeah, you went to the sea. They sell a lot of people. Really making some money because they're poor. I don't know. Can we take that money and put it into the boys' team? Wait, also, time out for a second. I love how we start with women's soccer. I, uh, listen, I have to. you got to talk about it a little bit. Frank said you didn't see any. Uh, in fairness, I wanted to start with the biggest news of the offseason, the potential change to the offside rule, and you guys told me it's not official yet. Uh, so we'll go Women's World Cup. You uh, USA, 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 they said they played the best game. They, they were not good. They still aren't good. I, I was told you that I'm good. Yeah, I wanted to make the point of that goal. If you haven't seen it, Frank, the uh, own goal, it's worth watching. I will go. I will go back and watch that. <laughs> I will tell you that um, I have not watched MLS either. But apparently, Messi has like what seventy three goals in the first yeah, four know, games. Like what? Guy, yeah. The and they're kick. ones more beautiful than the next. Like the free kick yesterday was ridiculous. Yeah. Hey, if you miss, if you miss, you continue like this, it's going to kill it. everybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, it's pretty hey, funny. We, 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 did you see it? Outside the field of the West fight or miss. Oh, really? Yeah, you didn't see that? Yeah. No. If I watched the game, I didn't watch the fight in the in the parking lot. <laughs> Listen, he's not – it's not like he's scoring cheap little goals. Like no. He's not shooting penalty shots. Like, they're really nice goals. No, people are getting their money's worth, right? Yeah. Like, after after he got signed oh, – Actually, they look like he's in form. Yeah. yeah. After he got signed, what was it? Like 24 hours later, every Miami game uh, was sold out a home and away instantly. Oh, with crazy like, price. Uh, yeah, ridiculous. and then the, the prices price went to like, what, $1,500, $2,000 a ticket to try and, to go see you? And it's, How much? It's $1,500, $2,000 a ticket. You're kidding. Some yeah. of them, yeah. You would not see my money. And right now in Miami, but, it's all anyone's talking about. Like yeah. if you follow anyone that's around Miami, it's messy, messy, messy. So, but the funny cool. thing yeah, is, I, I think your point is he's not scoring cheap good. goals. Like they he's to that kind of well, people got money; they want to go see the yeah. thing. Best seats at home. Best seat is at home, <laughs> but you know, if like he comes to your town one time and you go see and you want to see him, I, Frank, they come to Red Bull Arena. You're gonna go watch. No, I don't care that much. <laughs> yeah, see, you went once. See, perfect example. It, it works. Take, yeah. Yeah, take uh, probably four bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with inflation, that's the equivalent of 1.6 million nowadays. <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah, I mean, listen, Messi, it, it doesn't matter, right? This goes back years ago when people were debating, 15 years ago when people were debating Messi or Ronaldo. I, we always said Messi was the best player, so yeah, yeah. it's fine, you know. Yeah. But I'm not going to go see him play a game oh, when so, I'm not a fan so of one of the teams. I don't so care. Far it's, so far, it's a miss if the other people embrace it. No, it's, I mean, listen, I and mean, the games are good. They're like 4-4. Four, four. 
And, and, and to be fair, like his team sucked ass before he. Yeah, got on there. they were in last they, place. They were I think. last place. Well, they're they, still not good. They give up four goals a game. Okay, they give up four they goals won every game. game. They yeah, won every game he's been they, there, so. they literally hadn't won like any of yeah, the first see, nine I or ten games. What, I can see one thing, Frank. Guys, I can see this is true, whatever it is true, but you can see the 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 good of the game. It's different from championship. Or Italian, German, they play too free. Too well, free. yeah, they but I will free say free to the entertainment factor for an entertainment factor, like the fact they play open and free. Open. The same as England, open. it's entertaining. Four, 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 three. Like who cares? Mm. My know? concern, my concern is that he gets bored with it and is like, oh, you no, know, that's my right. question. Like, like now he's new, yeah, they, right? They yeah. open. What did you think at the same time? If we go back to another side. For example, Arabia, Arabia now they play, they get told to play, but they don't mean that. That not mean the team they are going to be better than the European well, team. No, it's because they can't persuade Allegri to join them. They can get away anytime, anytime, anyone they want. But the team. I'm pretty sure I would have conserved co- converted if they would have taken Allegri as like a thank you. But like you know, <laughs> yeah, well, that's, um, that, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I think I think at that time. Agnello was right for the Super League. Because these people, they, they, you know what the last offer was for Naples, also, man? 175 million to Napoli, 45 million for four years contract to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Listen, when Abanya's from Rome, when they pay $30 million for that scrub, you know it's a problem. Yeah, but the thing is, like, that money <laughs> yeah. is going to filter into Italy, too. It just hasn't yeah, filtered right. into Italy. Like, They're yeah. going to buy teams. You know, that's just going to happen. Listen, and the fact of the matter is, like, it, it just goes to show, like, today, day and age, like, one of the few things that people can p- watch live yeah. and you can get advertising dollars is sports. Right, right. Ultimate, what's the goal of the goal? They get all the best player, but the ultimate goal is it's there to good championship and a good team. Now all this team when they go play Bayern, Juventus, or whatever, they they lose all the time. Maybe, but the point they is, all the time. but the point is, it all depends. Is it a gimmick where they go buy some old players like Pogba and Ronaldo, or do they try to make every team improve where they get big players and eventually it'll yeah, be a good league? They can buy. I see it as a problem. Like when Kessie picks up a Saudi Arabian yeah. over Juventus, that's a problem. That's a problem. Well, it's a problem for Juventus, not a problem for the Saudi Arabians. <laughs> well, I mean, for, European, right? for European soccer in altogether. Yeah. But I think that's their point, right? Like, do they want to get that league where, like, let's say Saudi Arabian League, I'm just going to tell you, it has nothing to do with where they are. Let's say the Saudi Arabian League put all this type of money into every team. They would become like the premiership. All the players would go there and then they would get TV money and then they would have good teams. How many teams are there? I don't even know. I don't know. The, 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 the part of run, run the, the, the idea of what they have be, be, behind. The young people, they have young people that like that they're gonna be good. No, agreed. But that's you're talking two separate things. You're talking like because they're not like a soccer powerhouse with young people, fine, well, but that me, doesn't mean they can't have you, a really let good me league. Tell you something too. Arabia, South Arabia, right? They buy whoever they want, right? And they they bought even the Tiramisu. The, 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 the goal from Milan. Yeah, he went tier to, to um yeah. Come on. So that's the thing. Like, <laughs> I'm not worried about them because right now it could be like no, it could be like the NSL from North American Soccer League from years ago where they had Pele and all the big teams that did it for five years and then they stopped. Like, okay. I don't think it will be. But Frank, if you see what they've done in other sports, they literally just bought golf. Like, I think that's their. They bought golf. Yeah, the whole tournament. I, I wonder one thing, this guy. I wonder one thing. They spend this fund, right? They spend all this money. Eventually, this money they're going to finish in there too. No, because not they print really. money. It's oil. No, not really. Yeah, no, it's oil. It's yeah, oil countries. They, Come on, they, they get everybody. Everybody yes. from Italy, and they pay this and this and this. Come on. Yeah, it's teams, not going it, to. It's sixteen teams. It's not going. But the thing is, is it been one or two teams that have bought people or everything? Oh, a lot of teams. A few teams have bought. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Look, at the end of the day, yes, we lose to the Premier League when it comes to money, and we lose now to the Saudi Arabia. Okay, so you got to find a different way. Either I you got to, 
it, it's not it's not that big of a deal because there's enough good players to go around. Yeah. You know, but it can get to the point though where it's like, oh no, Mbappe is now going there because no one else can afford him. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, you think I'm sure that's he wants to leave PSG, right? Who's gonna yeah. pay for him? Well, he's gonna he might do one year over there and then go to Real Madrid. You know, like that's an issue. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because they can literally give him a hundred million dollars a year. Oh, yeah, but if if they buy my pay, to, you think then they're going to sell to Real Madrid? Yeah, yeah I mean, he might they're sign a one-year not. contract and then no. go for free. He's going to die there. But it all, it, yeah, but that's why it's going to depend on do you want to go there, all those types of things. But no one says that the top leagues always have to be the top leagues. Eventually, eventually, no, eventually, I think that they're going to be. Play and they say, I don't want to go to the shit again, championship. Right now, that's what people would say. But if they end up getting 16 teams of people making a ton of money and they're all good, yeah, you know, and then it's like, okay, everybody else is good as over there. Why am I not going to go? Right, because right now, as far as like the TV rights, like you can't watch these games in America if you wanted to. Right? No. Oh, oh, I got it. No. You know, some of this game, you know, Cyborg, I have a Cyborg. Mm -hmm. they, they're going to show on the cyborg. Okay, so they're already starting to get some. Yeah, the seven. Yeah. yeah, I think it, it, you know, and, then, and don't forget, there's also like there's more and more billionaires in the world. Like there's only so many things you can buy as a billionaire. That's kind of like a status symbol, right? It's, it's like when you have billions of dollars, the cars don't cut it. So you buy sports teams, <laughs> like, and it's good. P look at look at Qatar. The, their whole thing was the World Cup. I don't think had to do anything with soccer. I think it was so they could have a big tourism commercial for a month, visit Qatar, look at our country. That's what it was, and they paid a lot of money for that. Yeah, no, it's true. Sports is the, one of the few things where you can make money still. So it's, it's they can make money. Look at the eyes it brings, right? And it's like if you want to bring eyes and stuff to your country, what better way than have like if you went and got Mbappe and you started to have a league where people watch, like. There's stuff that goes to those countries that are outside of just the yeah, sport. Yeah, like this, uh, we have a question on the, the like, because you have to understand even the time when they play. Yeah. When it's like people, people, I would have been up at 4 o'clock. That I'm definitely makes it less accessible to us. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. And you know what? In quite fairness, like, I joke around, like, I didn't watch the Women's World Cup. It was in Australia. I didn't watch the games. Because the fact of the matter is, people are really busy, and they care about the teams they care about. Yeah. Unless unless you're a young kid and you just follow like players, like I'm a Messi fan or Ronaldo fan. Some young people do that. Or but a generic people, gambler. Yeah, or, or generic uh, gambler. But for me, like I'm gonna watch Serie I'm gonna watch Juventus. That's what I enjoy. That's what, I don't care if we don't have the most money. Like I'm still gonna criticize them the same. I'm gonna enjoy it the same. Like now, yeah, if you want to talk about new fans, right. yeah, still, they might capture again. new fans. Still, again, I think, I think. It, Player, they are important. At the same time, if you you could, you know you build a good team with nice game, they keep cares. Yeah, well, I mean that's an if. I mean, yeah. Like you need, I remember, I mean, remember Milan the play when they start to sack. I know they play good. They they bought a good, good player too. So they but they had the players. game that would have else. Yeah, but they had great players too. That's a bad example. I'm thinking more of like, um, what's his name with. Uh, Lickchester or whatever that won the Premier League. Um, Leicester? Yeah, or Leicester. Ranieri, Ranieri. Ranieri. Right? Like, he didn't have the best team, but they played great, and they won the Premier League with Leicester that year. Just like, to translate, Lickchester is yeah, good. <laughs> but they, 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 they were yeah. not, I can't read so they good. They were not good enough to be international. You know, the best. No, but you know what? Who? I mean, that to win international is oh, really hard. I'm done with the... At the end of the day, right... You you look at the team that play good, and that's why you play. You like Sassuolo, yeah. You like Milan. Atalanta. A you, you, you look for that, that team at that time. The difference is when you're a Leicester and on Milan, even when you play those great seasons, the next year you end up selling all your players. You know what this thinks. You know what I think is going to happen. I think it's you know UEFA has the Champions League. It's a European tournament. I think these teams are going to weasel themselves into the. Now that's yeah. a good prediction, Dan. That I could actually see, right? They could say, well, that's "Okay, what they try to." They're going to buy you know, their way into it. Maybe that's their play. And Europe goes, Wafer goes. You know what? We can go bring all these Arab eyeballs in, bring all yeah, this but... extra money. Why the hell yeah, not? No. Put two more hey, groups. Hey, make Frank. it to Asia. Oh, that... Daniel, Daniel, I don't mind either if they go in the competition. 
that will prove to you money is not everything. That's true. Well, no, we already know that. Look at PSG. Do they win every year? No. Only one team. Yeah. They did win the PSG. They win the 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 French Cup. Listen, but I'm saying not even every year, Dan, only one team. But I'm saying that team continuously spends the most money and never wins. Yeah. And that thing, you see PCG, you mentioned Messi PCG. All the players, they, they, they go play, they want to leave. Yeah. yeah, which is what's going on over there, by the way, now. Why do they want to leave? Neymar too. To yeah, Neymar today said he wants to So what's going on over there? Anything new? I don't well, know. That means that means they're not good. I don't I really see all that closely. Did but... they get a new coach this year or something? Yeah, every year. Every, every year is true. They do. But, like, every it's year weird. They one or two. I think a lot's up in the air because of Mbappe, so it makes people unsettled. They still bought somebody for $80 million today. You know, like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, well, you see, you come, to the point, uh, come to the point to see, years like, years. Uh, we talk, we say, all right, go my, the – why people don't bring the family in the stadium? You know, it's the man, the man, oh, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, for example, a lot of, lot of team, they should say, no, we like uh, Real Madrid. They don't spend the 250 million for my pay. I don't give a shit about it. <laughs> well, no, but that's the thing. But unfortunately, you know, there's people that either have so much money, they don't care how much they spend, or... um it, look at the U.S., perfect example. How much did they spend to get Messi there? Like, what do they do? They gave him an ownership? He got, like, something crazy? Yeah, got, like, uh, TV right how much did they the guy make? But think about it. Like, he sold out the league, like, the games instantly. And, like, people are so, like, from a marketing perspective, you know, I don't know if they'll make all the money back, but from and what he's trying to grow, again, it makes sense. Then again, I remember MLS, he take, every, oh, he take uh, most of the player, the Mexican people. Not Eventually, anymore. when the mess make all this kind of money, people that come over here, they want to get paid too, something. Oh, yeah. It's not, it's not as much like that. That was the beginning. It was like, that was oh, the beginning. Yeah. Why well, they stayed with the salary cap for $200,000? No, they've changed it now. They, it's higher, but they're still a cap. Yeah, they're still a cap. I mean, it's run like a business. They make money. Yeah, but there is a cap. But, but they go pay them, okay? Don't come if they don't play. Oh, I think went there, so. I think the hard part is... Oh, I think no, but the desk, but the desk, ain't seen you. What they did, they didn't do nothing. Well, that's what I'm saying. So that just shows you that it's not like as easy as you think it is either. You don't just go there and be, a, you know, do amazing. Yeah, but it's not enough for you to pay to spend a lot of money for Messi. You say the championship is great. No, nobody's saying that. I think they know what it is, right? They're just kind of like, hey, we're gonna make a ton of marketing dollars and sponsorships, and and the U.S. will like. Here's the difference: if Italy tried that, let's say Italy went and got Messi, right? I think you would have the team that got him. Let's say he went on Juventus. You would have the team that Juventus would sell out. And the other teams, like, it wouldn't have an effect on the league. People wouldn't yes, really – no, well, I don't think yes, it would. They, not the same they, way. They did it with Ronaldo. Yeah, well, well, well to the COVID. same effect as MLS. Well, COVID screwed hey, them. That's what hey, happened. Well, COVID screwed them. sold out hey, when they the, were there. The, the way, the road, you know, it's, it's like in Italy. Everybody tried to to spend – and I spent too much money on salary. Yeah. That's the way to go. Not everybody's in South, South Arabia. Yeah. Oh, and listen, there is Ajax, things. They believe in just with people sell people. Yeah. They have a good program, people. but they don't win anything either, right? Because it's hard to oh, do. Yeah, they, but they have the championship. Yeah. yeah, they make money. Yeah. Uh, listen, I have I don't have like envy. I'm not like looking at Saudi Arabia and go, oh, I wish it was Saudi Arabia, right? We have history, we have all this thing. Have, that's fine. Like I just want our championship to be good. I could care less. Yeah. How many Ronaldo you gonna have? Is it's going to be 38. I didn't want Ronaldo when he came. No, I mean, hey, Juventus <laughs> made a mistake already with Ronaldo. Yeah. But they realized from there. They also couldn't predict the COVID, which fucked them. Yeah, that Hard. did fuck. That did screw them. Uh, you know, that was also bad luck, right? Because yeah. you had a club would play with no no fans for, what, 18 months? No, because How long did they play? One year? When you went to support Ronaldo, they thought they would have won one or two championships. They well, that was win. that was what they were trying. They, they didn't win. Yeah. So they they they, they, they the salary went up. All of them. Well, now the problem they, realized they they have to drop. The problem was the people in charge didn't realize that our team's not good enough, and Ronaldo's the the, the guy who makes a difference. We have so many other issues. Ronaldo scored his thirty goals just to hide some of the deficit. 
but your team wasn't yeah. good. It was long. Yeah, but yeah. it was good because the mistake was that, and the sad because the mistake was that we don't have a good coach. We were like just a Ronaldo. As a matter of fact, they were talking about with Ronaldo, you start to want nothing. Yeah, well, that's it. Not to rewind history, like let Saudi Arabia do that, whatever. Like, and you know what? Maybe Dan's right. Maybe it's they're, they're trying to find their way into the Champions League or something like that. Um, I still don't know how I that works. They're going to be there, but yeah. it's it's not as easy as you think. It's UEFA. It's the European Champions they're League. They're going to change it. They're going to have. They to would have to change the entire thing. Yeah. And and let that. Me ask you, I'm about to, let me ask you something about the thing. You know, they want to try to go there. Why the the USA? They stay at the other side all the time. Well, that's what I was just about to say. You like, if they're going to do that, then why is it just going to be Europe and, uh, and you know Saudi Arabia and those areas? Why can't well, they, they, they make it to a world club? Yeah, tournament. maybe they can make a world club tournament, right? It's like yeah, the best teams, and they all kind of go. That'd be very hard to coordinate because they play different leagues and seasons and all that. Well, that's that's yeah, that's true. But you might have to. But that would make that would be appealing. Have like the the, yeah. the yeah, American they, side play, and then you, then know, again, you, you know, play. for them to meet you, European and South America, yeah, America. They had to, to do the, the, the win of one side yeah. with the win of the other it, side to get yeah. together. It's they can yeah. figure it they out. Do that. Um, but they, they also have their own league too, so I, I can't. I don't see that as much. No, I, because that would be like the Concacaf league yeah. saying we don't want to get paid anymore either. Or yeah, South American, like they're yeah. not going to give up their tournament. Yeah. Yeah, but did you did you see did you see now parenthesis did you see the elimination of USA? Girl, did you see Trump kill them? The Republicans, they, they, they talk about, you know, I they went not. on the social. I don't really I don't really check out the politicians' uh, you know, social on yeah, women's soccer. Yeah, they talk about, you know, they say, oh, they made a mistake with the pen. But that's the part of the game. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you have people that oh, don't want to be in the they China they because of... They say, oh, we champion. It's 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 what happens when people that don't watch or know the game chime in because it's the trending topic for the day. Yeah, it's just they make stupid comments. Don't care about that stuff. Um, all right, do you want to go to the league and talk about a little of the stuff that's happened? Because we did Let's talk, talk about- a little bit offsides, baby. <laughs> uh, there's the rule that FIFA's toying with, UEFA's toying with. Um, uh, possibly changing the offsides rule where you're not offsides if you're if part of your body is in line with the defender you are still considered onside so even if it's a toe you're onside uh, if you if you are along here yeah, yeah that's exactly why and that's why I think it's it sounds silly and I'm kind of mocking it but I think it would be an awesome change so it's not official yet but they were toying with three countries leagues doing it and Italy was going to be one of them so part of the bar has to be the other side. Yeah, all all of it. All of it. Oh. All of it. Like there has to be separation, right? Yeah, like you have to have like a head start, basically, like an legit head. So start. if you're in the line, which is how I remember it as a kid, if you're in line, if you're as long as so as long as one foot is on line, yeah. then you're on sides. It could be your hand trailing backward yeah. only, and you're still on. Yeah, side. yeah. If you you they did count to the end. If the end, this is up front. Your side. No, but now that's what they're saying to get rid of that. So if I'm standing on the line and my wind blows my jersey forward or my hands forward, like they don't count that as offsides, which is the way it should be. Yeah. So obviously the idea is to increase the amount of goals and make it easier to see if it counts and all that kind of stuff. Well, here's why I like it because I'm not really in favor of tweaking the game for more goals. Like I think a lot of times bad things come when people do that, but I am in favor of keeping, um, the spontaneous of the game, like when stuff happens, like what I noticed last year was people would score and you couldn't even celebrate because you're waiting for the VAR to come back and say if it was a goal or not. It took away all the celebration, all the spontaneous events that happened. And half the time you got goals taken away that were like, that had no impact on the play. I so see, I think it would be a good thing. And eventually they're going to be popular anyway because none the law is used for everybody to say well, in, in each league, you're saying? Or... No, 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 with the offside side or things like that. Well, so, then you could debate it, right? Oh, they screwed Juventus, and that's where he's going with that, right? Or they screwed a team. But at least if it's clear, 
like, was he on the line? Were they even with the – okay, Wait, then he's on sides. Question. You said they're testing it in three leagues? They want to test it in three leagues. want to test it in Netherlands, three. Italy, and somewhere else. Okay, so if they do that they do. and then a team's in the Champions League, does it go back to the regular oh, champion? Different set of rules. Yeah, you would have to. No, follow. I guess they, even if they test it, they have to approve. Yeah, I get it. They're testing, but like as a team, I'd be. Yes, they don't know. You play you differently. You have to see if they approve or not. I, I I haven't heard it's going through. I know they've been they've been talking about it. Every article you read, it's it's a possibility. It's not official. You would think they would have to make that choice very soon. The league I, is going to start. I personally am hoping that they do it, even though I'm looking at a picture right now of an example, and it's going to create a lot of goals. You're going to be annoyed, right? Because it's going to be basically someone could be a foot, a leg like distance ahead and just keep one foot back with the defender, and he's going to be on sides. Yeah, it's so it's, it's going to be very hard to defend. The WAR is a problem of still, you know, to celebrate. Like That's that. what I mean. I think I think the double, I think the VAR as it is right now just took away more of the fun of the game and took away goals that were like, okay, so his pinky toe was over. But it didn't affect do that. It's still gonna. They're still gonna have to view stuff. That's not. They're gonna have to view stuff, but I think it'll be less because I think this way will go more with the linesman. Yeah, yeah. the linesman will be close anyway. unless they tell the linesman don't raise your thing either way. Wait for VAR. Nah, yeah. There's gonna be a lot less checking. Yeah, a lot less a lot checking. Less. So to me, that's a positive. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see if it goes through. I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think it's gonna. Because um, I'm kind of hoping it does. It's gonna be a lot more scoring. That's for sure. Oh yeah, I think if they do go through, I think if you're a betting person, the first few weeks before they can get the scoring going, bet the over on all the games because they won't have a time to calibrate it. But you'll see the goals go up two per game. I think. <laughs> Um, as far as transfers for teams, I mean, we know where we know where Juventus stands. They really haven't done much. I think they're in the process, the mode of selling people. Zachariah is going to be sold soon. Um, whoever else they can get rid of now, all of a sudden, Allegri likes McKenny because he played one good half of the game. Uh, <laughs> no, I did just see the last article today. They talk about to, to play from Bayern. Borsek and Kramer. Not, they don't need to buy anyone. anyone. Why are they thinking players? Like, we have 40 it's not, players. It's you know, we have, what, 42 players? How many do we have? They got to get rid of a lot. They, for, the last for thing one, I heard today was Daddy's boy, Kambiasu, is going to stay unless someone offers, like, the high 20s. Well, that's the thing. I would like them to get down to 25, 24 players, but make it the good ones. Don't get rid of all like Kambiasu. Someone will take him, and we get stuck with all the old scrubs. I mean, they barely need 25 players, though. They're in one. Barely. Like, yeah, they, one tournament. No, this year. Yeah, they need 25. No, two. Ka, uh, yeah, Kopitai, too. This year, they need 20 players. 20 players because I don't think they have under 23 still. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You have I mean, realistically, 22, 24 20. with Kopitai is plenty. Yeah, I don't think you need much more. And we have 40. No, but, but and then this, <laughs> but, uh, well, with this, then we, they try to 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 loan those people, Miretti, Baragicea, all these things. They try to loan. Yeah, that's, I, I mean, whatever. I mean, yeah, as long as they don't just sell everyone that's young just because they'll get you'll get a couple dollars for them and no one will take the old guys. Yeah, like we did with Spinazzola and everybody else. No, they're gonna they're gonna dwindle the, ro the roster a lot the next couple weeks. And you know, um, but as I was gonna say, as far as the incoming players, the only thing you're really hearing is Lukaku still. Lukaku and Vlahovic is like the hasn't officially died down yet. It's picked up a little bit more. Which, by the way, if they sell Vlahovic and and Lukaku cost them anywhere less than 25% of what they get. I think it's a dumb move. What do you mean? Like, if you get 80 million for Lovic, like, I, you can't spend more than 20 on Lukaku. Like, don't well, do one of the three. What, what, what are you talking about? 40 million they want for Lukaku. Yeah, so to me, that means what? They're valuing Lukaku at like 30? They think at 35. At 40. At his age. If Lovic for Lukaku. But to me, that's a bad deal. I was explaining to them, Frank. Oh, I like this. I think it's good. Deal. I think Lukaku will be good on Juventus too. I, I think, think he'll be good. I'm not saying that. But you know, Lukaku is 31 remember, years old. Remember old when the he? one day when we got uh, Vlaovic, I say I was uh, optimist. I say oh, we have a Vlaovic. Lately, disappointed me a lot. That's because of Allegri. He looked like 
he can't even fight or he don't want to fight. Because it's a leg ball, dude. It's a leg He doesn't what, what, get the deal. Well, Chris is right. What I mentioned last time is like part of their th- thought process has to be we get Lukaku, uh, Lukaku for two or three years and then we sell him to Saudi Arabia for money yeah. and make some money. That has yeah. to be part of the thought process. Okay, yeah. He's 30 years old. So let me just play this out for you. Let me play this out for you. He's 30 years old, right? They get him. They sign him for what? A three-year deal, you're saying, or a four-year deal? How long are they going to sign him? Three years. Three years. Now he's 33. How much are we paying Lukaku a year? He's gonna want seven at least a year, right? Seven. Okay. So you're, but so now you're gonna say, and Daddy's saying that they're saying Lukaku plus thirty-five million. So if we go that the fact they wanted seventy-five or eighty, let's say seventy-five, right? That means Lukaku you're rallying at thirty years old for fifty million dollars. No, oh, the Arab, the day of the man. Not the Arab. I'm talking about <laughs> Juventus. They have one. You have one guy that a couple guys that are valued money and they're never able to get the cash. Like if you need the cash, get the cash. Chelsea, you want him eighty million. You don't want him. I'll keep but Chelsea doesn't even want him. That's the thing. Like they, well, that's the thing. So then they it's not a match. So, so it's not a match. Juventus is getting suckered into taking him. You guys have to remember no. too. He no, doesn't right. get along with people. Like everywhere he goes. Who doesn't? Lukaku. He, he, that's he what I'm saying. So you're. The, the that's what I'm saying. So Vlaovic, if he's this guy who's 22 years old, and yes, he's at two. I, I think- I think Lukaku is going to do the good to you, man. It's not about think- that. Lukaku scores 15, 20 goals, 100%. But are you making a good deal getting Lukaku at 30 years old and selling plus yeah, 35 well, million for Lovett? They think the other way around, Frank. Yes, how? If, if I were to skip on play like this, he pretty soon they're not worth it. Yeah, okay, yeah, true. Play. But that's where we have to have some conviction, right? Do we believe Lovett was a, not a good player on Fiorentina? Do you think we were all wrong? Well, here's yeah. the other thing. That I'll he doesn't show enthusiasm. Because he hates yeah. the Legri and the two ways. But the other thing I'll say, Frank, Cabral from Fiorentina just got $25. sold for $20 million. And Cabral sucks, though. But he's a product of the system, too. That's my point. Well, but, how many, but, but Cabral he's never did what Vlaovic did. He, he had a good right. season, though. Yeah. Cabral uh, had cool. compared to Vlaovic's two no, seasons. Hey, he did this no. just a 10 goal or whatever. 10. But Vlaovic he's is scoring 30. He's yeah, not nope, terrible not but I'm saying he's a product of the no, system. I, think, I don't think he's good. Who's not good? You don't Cabral. think Vlaovic is? So maybe Vlaovic is in that same boat. as like he's not good. He was a product of the system. No, and, I don't. That's what I'm just, saying. Okay, so that's a fair question. That's what a team buying Vlaovic would probably argue with you. He's had two years, not so good, blah, 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 blah. But that's when the people, like if I'm in charge, if I'm Junthly, I have to go, or us right now, because I believe Vlaovic is good. Just because he played two bad years, I'm not yeah, changing but- my opinion. Uh, Frank, with Flowers, we saw two years. One with Fiorentina, one with Juventus. We saw two years. Fiorentina, they had to go back. They had a beautiful play. Yeah. With Juventus. Now, the question is, Flowers uh, is going to go, go along with the leg. I think so it's. Keep, keep, keep I don't even know if it's as much Allegri. I don't think. No, I don't nice. think it's as much Allegri because I don't think he's like a spoiled player. I think it's he's so frustrated by how bad the team plays and he nice. blames Allegri so for you, that. You decide to to, to 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 keep Allegri. You want to keep him too. Now that he at West. Well, I, so in other words, you're saying then then we were wrong. Vlaovic is not a good player. We were wrong because we first of all we give keep Allegri. No, but but I, that's not us. I'm just saying our our our. Uh, opinion of Lovic, just to make the call right now, do we believe Juventus selling him for Lukaku plus 35 or $40 million is equal value to what Vlaovic no. is? No, but you see... Okay, they then we're all on the same page. They have a more uh, uh, use, useful uh, uh, Lukaku and not him. Yes, because, because of what we have. No, Lukaku, Vlaovic, and Allegri, they don't like each other. So go why ahead. you keep go ahead, that combination for? The reason why I'm saying that is because I can easily see on a good team in Italy, Vlaovic being the leading goal scorer in the league and getting sold for a hundred plus million. Agreed. Easily. Agreed. So that's my point. So we know that they decided to keep Allegri right now. Fine. Right. We're not in charge. But my point is you make a move today to sell Vlaovic for 35 million plus Lukaku and Allegri gets fired next year. The right? Yeah, I, Did you make a good no, move? Well, thank you. Oh, thank you. In this regardless. contest, in this contest, don't forget the second choice, Conte. They talk about Conte to come back. 
Hey, look, I could play beautiful with Cone. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I want Cone either, but okay. But you, okay. But that's your All point. Right. But I'm okay. just saying, fine. You want to sell Vlaovic, then get the money. Get the, the guy. Money. I, I was going to give that a million. He's not worth it. But but here's the deal, Frankie's right because oh, no yeah. one wants you know, Lukaku. <laughs> right. Don't, well, that's the other point. A few hundred million for Ken for for, for Bay, Bay. This this is where. But I Chris has a good point. It's not just about Vlaovic. It's also about Lukaku's value. But Do people that's, want Lukaku? No. That's what Juntil is doing right. He's not forcing the issue. And he's saying, "Hey Chelsea, you want to get rid of this guy so bad? So yes. we're not backing down." Thank you. Want. So if he does that, if he goes, okay, give me 60 plus Lukaku, no, 55 plus 40. Lukaku, then I'll he, do it. He wants 40 for him. 40 he wants a 40 for Lukaku. 60 was never said, Frank. He, he wants 40 for Lukaku. He wants 40 yes. for Lukaku for Vavis. 40. Yes. So that means he's valuing Lukaku is pretty good. Lukaku? Yeah. 40 million? Yeah, I, think it, I think Lukaku 40 million is worth. Lukaku two years ago was sold for $100 million, Frank. Two years ago. Yeah, so is Slovic. You guys, so wait, one value counts and the other guy's value doesn't? No, Vavich, he, wasn't 22, he wasn't 100. He was 80. Okay, I think they both dipped. Yeah, they, okay, fine. I guess my point is, though, I just think Juventus never capitalizes on their on, on taking the most value out of their resources. And then next year they fast forward and go, shit, we need a forward. Well, and, someone, and it's any old scrub and they want $40 million dollars for him. They changed their mentality. From every six months, this yes. is the direction we're going in. That's, yeah. that's different. They don't know what they're doing. You know, when Juventus wanted Fratesi, they threw out a number of what, 35 million, right? Out of nowhere. A guy who played one good I season. Get it right now. Get enough to want anyone. I understand. I'm saying that. I, I understand that. But what I'm saying is, you, would you admit at least Volvich has accomplished more than Fratesi? And he's a forward, by the way. Yeah, well, so I'm just saying our asking prices sometimes feel like they're too low, like we're doing them because I have no doubt if Lovic goes to uh Chelsea and plays and stays healthy, he's gonna score 25 goals. I don't know, he, show for that. Yeah, I don't think so. First of all, he's he's weaker than he looks, he's I know he's built like an ox, but he's not strong. His touch on the ball is not good. He knows how to play, but, but his touch play. was better in Fiorentina, okay? But he doesn't have good touch. I, like I think he was out of form. They play on him. Yeah. Wing and but don't you no. think it's exactly how Chelsea's going to play? I think he'll be good on Chelsea. I'm saying he's going to struggle in England yeah. if he goes there. <laughs> I, I don't know. think he – I mean, I don't know. I, I just think – so in other words, then none of us know what we're talking about. Because two years ago we were saying, you know, there's there's Holland, there's Mbappe, and then a little step below there's Volovich up and coming. And now we're saying Re- he sucks. Remember, remember one thing. If the, the team play good. Game, everybody looks good. Yeah, I believe you agree. If the team plays shit a game, everybody sucks. Can you tell me the last time Juventus played good? Yeah, that's a fair point. So, in, in, okay, so let's uh, okay, so yes, everything you just said is 100% true. Chris is right. When's the last time we played good? So, we can take that same formula and we can put Lukaku in the front. The only difference is is that he he holds the ball up better. I that 100% you believe, I, I agree with. I don't think Lukaku was bad last year. I like I Lukaku. Tell you, what to you think Lukaku's going to score 30 goals playing on Juventus when oh, they play last year? Lukaku, no. Lukaku, he played good. He, he, can, he can set the people to score. Yes, that he does, he that he does good. That he does good. He, he's strong enough to hold the ball. Yes. That's... And to pass it. To, to, yes. Which Rauch later didn't show this. Yeah, Lovic was going to be. But Lukaku's <laughs> biggest <laughs> issue is he's anti-clutch. That's his biggest issue. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Right. <laughs> so that's my thing. You're exactly right, Dan. So we're all saying the same thing. Vlaovic, when he would get the ball in Juventus, he would get it 25, 30 yards out with his back to the goal from from goal, 30 yards, and he couldn't hold it up. He would lose the ball. He would get beaten up. So Lukaku is going to do that really good. The point is, you still have a forward getting the ball 25, 30 yards away from goal. <laughs> And then you said it's not clutch. So which yeah, one would you rather see, have? You, know, you see, Frankie, Frankie, with the game, uh, Allegri, that wants the, the, uh, uh, the Menzali to go and score, Rabiot. Yeah, Lukaku helps more. Lukaku will be good. Yeah. 
Again, I think we're putting too much onus on a coach that showed us the last two years he has no play. Yeah, who might not be here in a month. Right, or right. <laughs> so that's my thing. Oh, Dan just said a great thing. What happens if we start off horrible and they can't even keep him past Christmas? And the <laughs> next guy goes, you know what I would really love? A Ford like Vlaovich. You know, you know what I want to what be? What the, it's like it, they talk about uh, Allegri. He don't give a good uh, preparation, you know, athletic. Mm-hmm. See? Hey, I don't want uh, Lukaku to come to here to get fat. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? I don't know. My, my point is, I just, I just think we took a, we, when we got him, I remember the celebration because we thought we had no chance. No, we, we applauded them. We applauded it. We're like, tremendous move. We have someone we can build around that we really think is, you know, he's going to be a great guy. He loves you. Yeah, but we, did. we didn't team. think about Allegri. Well, yeah. We didn't think about Allegri. Allegri still, remember, we had the old team that played defense and the back. Yeah. So is that a Vlaovic problem? I'm I'm saying. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Is that a Vlaovic problem or... Any old forwards problem. Yeah, but now since you keep uh, a leg, why do you keep a flower to pull? To keep on doing the, the mistake? I don't know. Like for me, if I was Juntley and I came brand new, I would say Allegri's on a very short leash. So like the only way he makes it past this season is if he tur- he shows me that every hey, the last two years it's all a mistake. Ah, Frankie, did you see the Real Madrid to you, Juventus? Besides yeah. the goal of Rauch, what did he do? Which he I missed am- it, by the way. It wasn't like it was a clean goal. He missed it and got hit by a defender. Listen, I can't argue he's played well the last couple of years. He's been injured. Like you said, Dan, he hasn't been able to trap the ball right. He seems like he's gotten so frustrated it's kind of eked into his play. I, I agree with all that. I'm just not saying that all of a sudden he sucks. Well, I guess the point is you're never oh, as good Frank, as bad. Good as you as bad. Oh, yeah, maybe. Frank, when a player doesn't have the trust of the coach, he's gone. Yeah, it makes all the difference. Yeah. It makes a little difference. The, the player wants to play tranquil. He wants to play nice. I just don't want to hear that we make this move and then the next six years he's a top scorer in Europe all like every year, and we're like, I oh, just, wish we had him. Kept the score. It's uh, I'll probably with that lady. He's, it's good. He's, uh, you know, he did good. He went to do a team that I allow him. I think my computer chairs give me because, scores. Like he said, <laughs> Daniel say, Cabral did good. Because Fiorentina played good. Yeah. And Vouch could be the same thing. Now, if Vouch doesn't have a team that play for him, first of all, remember one thing. You can have the best player in the world, but if you don't have a game, you don't do nothing. I agree. I also can't judge that guy for doing nothing in that scenario. It's like if you have... I'm not the best. looking forward to watching events this year. Oh my god, every week he says it. <laughs> well, you know, the funny god. thing is, like, it's gonna be a really interesting year because if they bring back the same team with the same coach, like, and no extra tournaments to worry about, oh, nothing. No, it's not gonna be the same. See, I don't think it's gonna be my that. war, you know what is my war. We might have Cambiasa. Allegri. Because Allegri, you don't like it. People like Cambiasso, Rovella. Yeah. Because I'm sure if you give a space, Rovella's yeah. going to take his Locatelli's place. Yeah. I, I bet. 100 million. I agree, but he's not going to get the chance, I'm telling you. Oh, Rovella, no, no, first of all, has got to prove he's healthy. That guy's always hurt, too. He's always hurt. Yeah, but, he's okay, there's an, but there's another example of if, if we don't, if Allegri doesn't give Rovella the green light, right? And we end up selling, and they say, "Well, we can go get thirty million for Ravella." Is that a good move in the face? Of, do you believe in Juventus? Just because we have and Allegri, you're never going to play them. Yeah, it's a good but move. Allegri is not going to be with Juventus more than another year or two. Like then yeah, he's gone. Time you sell. Yeah, in that meantime, you sold. Then you have to replace you these like people. people. So the question is, why why are you buying new young people when you don't believe in them? Well, no, my question would be, why are you going to go after to try to get people like Fratesi for 35 but not play the ones you have that are yours already? They you know what? The I'll tell you something. Frank. Yeah, I agree. Frank, I'll tell you something. Inter bought Fratesi, all right? If yeah. I was Inter, I would have sold Barella because they have the same game. Yeah, but they won't. I want to make money. Because sometimes you have to think about 
Yeah, but they, they were just you know, in the Champions League final. Right? Yeah, they were in the Champions League. And, you know, Barella's still so young. They could sell them in two years and still make the same money. If anything, that's a compliment. Like, why wouldn't you want those yeah. two players on yeah. your team? Like, I see what he's saying, but it's not like Barella's 29. Barella's no, like 24. Exactly. Yeah, but... Frank, you know, more the... I can't say more so you... Well, like, uh, that's what I want to see from you about this. We did the deal, like but why do we say we, we can sell a chest? Because when... If a Perini is in shape, he can be a number one. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't matter for Inter because the economic rules don't apply to them and they can be in right. debt billions of dollars and they don't get in trouble. What do you, what do you so mean? Inter is in debt so much money they keep buying people. It doesn't matter what they do. <laughs> well, and the, here's the funny thing. Like Saudi Arabia, because we started on that too with the whole thing. It's like I thought the whole idea was you were supposed to spend the amount of money that your team brought in, not the endless pockets your owner has. I don't know that they have the same rules. But, but but see what I'm saying? Like, fair play. It's like, you can't just be like, oh, I'm just going to keep putting money from So no. it doesn't really matter then. But there's more to it. There's wages yeah. that are involved. There's ways of Onana. Like, yeah, there's ways around. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what the module was there, they play with the buy and sell. They yeah. didn't touch the... the, the, the I'm just it. saying there has the reason we have faith in Juntli is because we hope he makes the right decision as to who to buy and sell. Like, don't sell Ravella because you need money today to just go turn around two years from now and go, I need a Ravella. Like, to me, that makes no sense. Have a plan. I think like, he has a plan and he knows what he's doing. Good. I hope he does, too. I think he's just... probably what Chris is going to say. He's probably holding off on making those moves until he can say, like, is Allegri my guy? If not, I'm going to wait the whole time. I hope, I hope so. Then I'm gonna start making my to me, that would be make sense, right? But like, that, the, the whole Lukaku what deal you already. See? You can see he's not giving I, it. I don't know. Yeah. You know, we don't know about the uh, the efficiency. The, you know, Atlantic and Rovella is good. But they could have tried even to sell Locatelli. Yeah, they could try a lot of things. My point is have a plan, have conviction. It can't be like, who is what Dan or Chris said, from one month to the next, they changed their plan. Well, that's what they've done for the last three years. They had shitty leaders. You know, they have to have a guy who's going, no, this guy I bet on. Whether my coach is a moron or not, I bet on him or I don't bet on him. You know, you know what I heard the, the last thing I heard from the paper? The, he, the black guy, Illich, what was it? Yeah, Illing, Illing Jr. The Allegri changed his spot. He wanted to make him. Oh, make yeah, him I read that too. He wants to put a Medzala now. I'm like, but that's a thing. the fucking break. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. It's but like, what the hell, is- bro? At the end of the day, Juventus right now, with, with their current roster, they can easily win this league this year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they easily. should. And they should. No Champions League. No, no, no European. They have they have one game to worry about. I'm they even, should. Just uh, the no, roster no. alone. They, 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 could, they could yeah. should come down. So come down. So the way I saw, he can play both sides and the, yeah. the pull back, right? He can play even the, maybe on the way I saw him. Is, in it cost the ball better than cost oh, like yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it. Yeah, it cost it. You sell one of them. Yeah. That's the thing. Uh, like, so, like, I would like to see Juntley make moves like that and not just sell because, oh, well, this is the one guy who can get money. Of course, he's the one guy that actually has some value. Like, well, yeah, I don't know. I, and, you know, here's another thing Juventus did wrong. Like, years ago when we used to watch in the 90s and 2000s when they were in Europe, they didn't have a roster of 40 people. They used to have a roster of 24. Yeah. I mean, you would see the same lineup start over and over. That's the way the game's changed, though. Oh, agreed. But don't you think 40 might be extreme the other way? Like, you could be in the – you could be in the champion – and maybe they only have 40 because they've had so many years of guys they couldn't sell. The Arthurs, the Ramseys, that just go on loan and come back. Like, that could be that, too. But you don't need 40. Like, you could play all those tournaments and have 25 and be fine. You know, that plenty. You're semi-healthy, yeah. And that way you don't spend three million for this guy, oh, you God. know, because you don't think twenty five to forty make good I money. I see. with twenty would be not. Yeah, you have under twenty three. This year twenty is plenty. Nineteen. It really, it's more than because enough. it's because it's not like twenty five to forty is a bunch of young kids making a hundred thousand dollars. They all get make make money. Rugani. <laughs> Rugani, right? <laughs> like Ram, like all these guys make money. Don't have those fifteen oh, guys. I, I still didn't see because what I heard the June toilet, he tried to. To lower the salary of everybody. Well, but I wonder if you went to Turunan and say you want to stay for two million. He always picks up. It's a lot. Regardless, he actually played his best season last year. 
<laughs> like two million and a half. He played like six games. Yeah. yeah, but he played them pretty well when he played. Yeah, but two million and to stay on the bench and score. Yeah, he's making four, right? Three and a half. But that's my point. Like when, so if you're a team, you go, you know what? The first thing we need to do is we can't have these extra 15 players. Even if they make 2 million each, that's $30 million a year. <laughs> like we that's don't need that. That's more than some teams payrolls. That's what I'm saying. So first thing, get rid of this fat. They suck. Right. We don't need them. And then don't get, don't pay people five, 6 million. Cause they're free and when they're worth 2.2. Then, then then they say, Rugan is a good guy. He can stay on the bench. Yeah, but I cannot pay you 3 million and a half. To play them game. Yeah, but if you're gonna pay me, I'm gonna take it. Yeah. It's not his fault. <laughs> I don't want to pay you three million. Well, yeah, but that's the thing. So when you sign these contracts, they have to make sense. You can't just give out money and then be like, "Oh shit!" Now they want to get paid. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Uh, anyway. Anyway. Is a good player. It's good, you know, good athlete. You know, he stay where he's below. Yeah, I cannot give you three million. Right? What's the deal with Bonucci, by the way? Like, I know they said he Bonucci wasn't in the plan. Bonucci is still a contract with Ajax. He's in talks. He's in talks with Ajax? That would be nice if he went there. Well, Juventus has one more preseason game against Adelante. That's uh, it, one, huh? Yeah, who just bought Skamaka, which is... That's actually... I, I like Skamaka. Stole from yeah. Inter. He's about to go there. Um, and then, wait, so when did that happen? That Alon thought Skamaka yeah, literally today. Like, today. Yeah, so, but, okay, here's a prediction Skamaka scores close to 20 goals on, on the yeah, line. I, I don't think so. Yeah, think write it down. He bought a bit, they, they got to live. I don't care. They're, they're buying from uh, Milan, too. Who... Hey, first of all, the Catholic was overrated as shit, so okay, he'll play wait. better. He'll play it's better on the line. Yeah, Gasparini will get more out of him. No, Gasparini is bad to make him good. Yeah, yeah he probably will. Yeah, I have a doubt this could that guy. I don't think he's that, but but I'm he, saying he if would. anyone can, he can. I mean, he was non-existent on the field. Yeah. He sucks so bad. But Skamaka... Why, why you look at him and play the face, the expression? Yeah, he just doesn't have he it. He was a scared, like a team. Skamaka is a different beast. But that's a lot of forwards. Right? Oh, they gotta forget. get rid of players. True. Don't forget the Cascamaca. Yeah, it's young. Uh, I don't have Zapata and Muro. Yeah, but yeah. last year they and played they like hardly at all. I don't they think he's going to be great with them. Yeah, they bought, um, was that a French guy? They bought someone. Yeah, but they just sold their guy, right? Who? They, 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 they opened Muro or... to Roma. Yeah. Yeah. I think Skamaka, but especially the way Muriel and, and Zapata were hurt last year, if Skamaka plays, it plays his gets his games. I think he's going to score a lot of goals on the lawn. Yeah, I don't think he's, I don't think he's going to be bad. But um, how much they, did they pay for him? Like thirty five yeah, plus, plus bonus. Oh, so he's valued the same as Lovic. Cool. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not how it works. That's not how it works at all. Uh, it is because again, I don't really want to go. Zero doesn't mean he's valuable. No, I think I'd give you 15 for Lukaku. <laughs> I think it's 20. 35, 40 is still a war. Um, and then the season starts. So we're going to do one more show next week. We'll do our predictions on what we think the, how the league's going to shake out. Hopefully, there's more moves. Like teams are still won't be finalized, but we'll make our predictions that are terrible. Um, When's the actual. Um, uh, transfer window so next close, week like September. Be, yeah. yeah, next week we'll do it. We'll do our predictions next week. Yep. Um, and then we'll have the games starting on the, what the the nineteenth or something like that. You went to play Sunday. Sunday at two forty five on the twentieth. Yeah. Game of the week, right there. Udinese one nothing. Don't they start with the knees like the last three seasons? Yeah, I feel like they always start with the knees. Ever yeah. Sam? They usually play. Yeah. Sam. I'm like, what um, the hell? Uh, Do they, are they just reusing the same thing? I don't know. Udinese, who just sold um, Samarjan, or whatever that guy's name is, Samarjic, who I said was really good last year, to enter, um, watch him be a beast. Um, well, he's not, you think he's going to play that much? I think he's going to play, yeah. Why would, they paid a lot of money for him. Yeah, but they don't play people like Aslani at all. Like, Why are they going to play him? Uh, they're different positions. I know, I Linter, Linter. Yes, the midfield is good. Yes, and somebody, even if somebody doesn't play, is still good. Yeah, they have a sub for everyone. Because they, they, they have a sub. Yeah, yeah, but again, okay, so I'm being consistent. That is the same thing that I'm telling Juventus doesn't need to do. Do they need to have that many people? Okay, but 
Eight there's in three tournaments. That's there are three tournaments, but I mean, do they have more than twenty two? I think they have more than twenty two. Yeah, well, they need it. Right, like twenty two is a sub for every person. Plus, plus, give me one extra defender, one midfielder, and one forward, and I'm good. Twenty five every single time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Inter plays their youngsters less than Juventus. Yeah. You know they don't really go crazy with their youngsters. You know, Juventus made the mistake all the time because remember one thing: when you went to buy a player, he gave a good salary, mm-hmm. and then he has a problem to resell. Because you can't sell them to anyone in Serie A. You, you know what that means? You know what that means to have a team players on your team that no one in your league can buy off of you because you pay the most. It's like the equivalent of when they tell you never buy the most expensive house on the block. You know we used to do that to Frank Morat Linter. Yeah. That's a problem. But it, but it was more balanced. I feel like back then, like now, you have all these poor Italian teams, and then if you're the guy playing the most uh, salary, that means if you want to sell a player that might be good on another ten teams in Serie A, they can't pay him because they yeah, don't. Now, I don't forget to one thing too. Before they used to have to be the English team in the Arabia. Yeah. And so uh, if somebody, if he, uh, you went to Swan and you will go there right away. Mm. Yeah, but I think they have to play the game where they can't go, oh, man, if this guy doesn't end up being a home run, I have to sell him outside the country yeah. because no one else can afford him. <laughs> like, like, the teams that saw him week and week and might think he's good, they go, oh, we can't pay him. He's making $5 million. Or those teams actually see him the most and don't think they well, are. Well, that's one thing. If you, yeah. Like, hey, we've scouted this guy. We've seen him for 38 games. He's not good. I'm no, not yeah, which is another problem, right, if you're signing people that aren't good. But I think – yeah. Arthur scored for Fiorentina. <laughs> Arthur scored for Fiorentina? Yeah. You know, I laugh when I see the deals with Arthur at the point that they still have the balls to put. And then an option to buy. Give me I a know. break, an option to buy. That guy's going to be on Juventus until the contract runs out. They I, say, I, would, I would bet my house that never that? Arthur, they say, you loan to Fiorentina with option to buy. These people, no, still, I, no one takes yeah, the option oh, ever. It's a play. They say it's good. Good, let him play. They, they still play. won't take option. Yeah. They'll go back to events and go, the options are 20. We know you don't like him. We'll, we'll give you a score. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, they're never going to take the option. Yeah. No. Right? So it's they're like, going to renegotiate it and be like, yeah. oh, yeah, it was 20. We'll do it for 12. Yeah, which is fine. I would still be happy. I don't even think that's going to happen. Yeah. That's if Arthur plays a whole season really good. Yeah. Healthy and... and uh, if you play decent season, I think Fiorentina's going to buy yeah, but he's got to play 30 games. Yeah, right. then I lose too much. He's got to have 10 assists. 40 pounds. <laughs> he's got to be able to run. I mean, a lot's got to happen <laughs> to even get that $5 million next year. Oh, no. You see, the, remember, Italiano got Arthur because they want to sell Amaral. Yeah. And they, he's going to play the same Amaral. Yeah, and Amarat's not the fastest guy, so I could see that kind of work. But Amarat the, works his ass off way more. But he than works. Arthur. I was gonna say, but he's slow, but he works a lot. He does a lot of work. Arthur doesn't do any of that work. No, so, no, Arthur can do that. No, he's he not gonna break up the, the plays or anything. Like that. Arthur, can, one thing you have to tell him: try to dribble less. Yeah, Arthur is not gonna. Hey, he's not pass the ball forward. He doesn't yeah. do that either. <laughs> Anyway, do they sell? But he... <laughs> boy, boy. <laughs> Listen, don't that. don't pass it to Arthur. Boy. <laughs> Daya, so, boy, boy. Well, so it sounds like all the Italian teams, though. Uh, it sounds like all the Italian teams are a little late to the transfer party this year, huh? Just poor, Frank. Well, I mean, selling. I'm just talking about selling. But their season starts later too. Then, like England starts this week coming up. You know, so they're at a different point in the off. So that means they should have sold to other leagues even faster. Boy, boy. <laughs> wow, you just went to an Allegri coaching uh, master class. I know. Right. <laughs> He's just screaming, boo, boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are Fucking we done? Allegri. Yeah, I think we're done for tonight. Uh, we're done? We'll be, we'll be back Ooh. next week talking about our predictions that are sure to be shit. Uh, yes. And um, I like the, that episode though. Yeah, no, it'll be fun. All I'm right. not even going to do my normal. I'm not going to do any. I'm not looking anything up. I'm going to do. Oh, no, I'm going to make the categories up. I think in my head as we go. So, like, we <laughs> Good. Don't know that Good. Anymore. I think that's fair. I think that's the way to do it because we never yeah. prepare hey, for that anyway. You know right? why? We need to put it now. Why? It's got a lot to say. Yeah, it's an hour.
I thought we were gonna have an hour on the offside rule alone, so I'm a little well, kind of so bored. <laughs> If uh, any computer company's watching right now, and I don't know why you would, computer chair, sponsor us. Send me a chair. My back is fucking killing me. I just got a, I just got an awesome computer chair from um, what, what's that? What's the bed company that makes the foamy mattress? You know what? Oh, Pretty good. You know what? I understand. <laughs> Way to sell it, friend. <laughs> I forgot the name. What do I say? The tournament they recuperate twenty minutes, ten minutes. Why they got so much? That was the World more? Cup. Well, Where they had like 15 minutes extra time in the second half? <laughs> 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 oh, that's another thing they need to get rid of. Water breaks. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. The game is like what? The ref said, let's play another 20 minutes. Let's play a little bit more. I don't want to go out. There's people waiting for me outside. <laughs> All right. See you next week. Have a good night. Allegri bye. out. Bye. <laughs>